Hello, today we're taking a look at Read Iris. Read Iris is an OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition Software, that allows you to convert things like PDFs, image files, documents, and much more into editable text files. So maybe you have this really long PDF file that you need to adjust, where you can easily import it into something like Read Iris and then convert and edit that text. Super simple, super easy. Uh, and we have a limited 15% off coupon code if you want to check it out for you Windows users to try and or buy Read Iris Pro just click on the link down below for more information. Alright that said like I mentioned OCR optical character recognition for example I have an image here imported into the application which let me give you a really quick tour of here on the left hand side you have your pages this will show you all the documents you have in your current project now when you have multiple documents in here um, as soon as you export or output the file however many documents you have in this library are going to be output into one single file. So it allows you to create uh, index PDFs and so on. You have your activity bar down below, your canvas here on the right, and then your toolbar at the top, which has six tabs, including home, zones, page, cloud setup, view, and help. And of course, within each of those, you have your own tool sets. Within home, you can, of course, import your desired, you know, uh, documents whatever you're going to be using everything is really customizable that's one thing i really like about the interface so for example here you can see i can make like this full screen this pages section i can make this go below here it really just depends on how you want to organize your windows and that's one thing i really like about the overall interface but as far as importing i can import from any file here so for example i actually have a file here that i want to import i'm going to go ahead and import this image here and you can see i was easily able to uh, import this file here. Now, if you get that notice, you'll see some things depending on the document that you upload will be easier to recognize a character. Sometimes it'll be harder. You can define the document language because one great thing about um, Read Iris is that you can see when I change that language to Japanese, you'll notice that it was easily um, able to recognize this uh, second document here versus before. So now it knows that it's Japanese, and it knows how to adjust its formula, essentially. And it supports over 130 languages, by the way, including Latin, many Asian languages like Japanese, Arabic, and even Hebrew. Now that I imported that, you can see I can jump between the two documents easily right here. I can, of course, um, import from scan. So if you have like a Twain scanner, you can convert from that as well. You have your text corrector here. So if you want to click on the text corrector button, you can see how easy it was able to find that text and make it all editable here. So it was able to recognize all of that from this very busy document you can see here. Um, the document has a lot of stuff kind of going on, has the images, different text size, yet Read Iris was able to grab all of that. Of course, you can do basic image editing, like rotating the image around, doing 3D correction. Um, when you have your project ready, you can actually just output it to your desired format, which is really great because let's say again, you have this image, that you want to go ahead and create a Word doc out of, you can easily just go ahead and save it as a um, Word doc. And then from there, you can open it in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go ahead and save that project here. And then I'm going to open it. And as you can see, editable text, just like that, I can now type out all of that stuff that was just in that document there. Really, really great, really fast, really efficient. So let's say you get sent a PDF and you need to go over and edit it. Well, Read Iris will allow you to quickly import it in and then output it into a Microsoft Doc. Now, speaking of that, you click on the Zones tab. This will show you what the OCR is actually doing. It shows you in uh, you know more detail what it's actually finding. So you can see it detects all the zones, Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4. It knows, in a sense, what are images, what are text. And this is where you can kind of adjust that. So you can... Um, adjust the zones. You can select a specific zone. You can go ahead and edit the text. So if you want to manually define the zones that you um, recognize as text, then you can define that. Another use case would be with this document here. You can see I can uh, define with the box. So I can say like this right here is text, and this right here is text. Or you know, if if you notice that it doesn't grab something um, by default, you can go ahead and adjust that. The same thing with a picture or a table or a barcode. This just allows you to manually set those zones. And then it gives you the coordinates. Um, it also allows you to reanalyze the page or ignore uh, a specific section. Really, really great, powerful tools because it does a really great job on its own. But when those certain documents need fine tuning to adjust for the circumstances, then you can go ahead and manually adjust that in the zone section. 
pages allow you to just essentially optimize the pages that you have in your document here. So if you want to go ahead and rearrange them or delete a page, exclude a page, um, move pages up. And this is because it supports multiple documents. You can literally have hundreds and hundreds of things imported here. And this just allows you to go ahead and adjust that or save specific pages as pictures, so on and so forth. And speaking of saving all those pages, the great thing about Read Iris, so let's say you want to export as a PDF, you can actually go into the PDF settings here and you have a lot of different options uh, to adjust your PDF. So you can actually compress your PDF by adjusting the quality in which it compresses the overall file. So better quality for images and text or lower quality. Um, and this allows you to obviously compress the overall file size uh, depending on how many documents you have imported. Now in the pro version, you get way more options. You get all sorts of different things, which we'll talk about at the end here, but basically allowing you to adjust the sliders here for quality, so on and so forth. And then of course, change your specific or specified format there. Lastly, in the tabs, you also have the cloud setup, So you have the ability to hook it up into things like Dropbox, Google Drive, Box, which is really nice because that allows you to kind of upload directly into the cloud for the documents that you're working on. View allow you to, again, adjust the interface a little bit or use things like the magnifying glass, which allows you to more easily define uh, things. And you can see here it allows you to easily zoom into the text and so on and so forth. Or just ad adjust the overall kind of interface and app view. And then last but not least, you have your help tab, which will allow you to go ahead and get some help or tutorials if you have any questions regarding the application. So again, Read Iris Pro is a really powerful application. Again, I can go ahead and take all these documents, these two documents I have imported, go ahead and choose to export it as a PDF here. Super simple, super easy, just like that. And it'll actually stitch all of those things, in this case, just two pages that I have here, into a single PDF file based on my um, specifications. And just like that, you can see here, here's that PDF. And of course, I could have gone and adjusted things. And it breaks them into two separate pages. Really simple, really easy. Again, really powerful tool with that optical character recognition scanning, allowing you to extract text, extract the images, or, or just get just the text, however you want it, um, and really break up and edit those PDFs, those images, and, and make them into um, you know whatever format you want to output them as or export them as. Really powerful application. Don't forget to check out the link down below for more information because there is actually two versions when it comes to Read Iris. There is the uh, pro version and the corporate version. And the big difference there is corporate allows you to get some other features such as uh, processing batch documents, electronic signatures, uh, professional scanners. You have the ability to control those, connecting to things like SharePoint. Uh, uh, automatic document sorting, and much, much more. So again, if those features are something that are more applicable to you for your professional use, just be sure to check all of those out in the corporate version. And again, by using our link, you can go ahead and save on Read Iris either version, whether it's the pro version, which comes in at $99, or the corporate version, which comes in at $200, 15% uh, off savings. So again, definitely want to take advantage of that because this is a limited time coupon. So head over to our link down below. Uh, and of course, all purchases are protected by HTTPS as well as a 30 day money back guarantee. So no risk on your end. That being said, for the top of the line OCR software, be sure to check out Read Iris.